Hello guys, welcome. This is Fitness Anytime and Anywhere by Marjena. Today I'm inviting you outside. Look what a beautiful spot I found for us. Lots of flowers, greenery, birds, sun, and even a little bit of the chilly wind. I strongly encourage you also take some of your workouts, your daily uh, workouts outside. About this workout, this workout is absolutely for everyone. Uh, kids, adults, seniors can benefit from it. It's only 15 minutes. We don't need any equipment. You don't even need shoes, just some comfortable clothing. Uh, maybe yoga mat may be useful, or if you have problems with balancing, you may wanna uh, do some of those exercises next to the wall or support on a chair. Uh, you can do it anytime during the day. So you can wake up and just really uh, warm up your whole body along with those moves. You can do it in the middle of the day. Uh, before or after your lunch or even before you go to bed because none of those exercises will be intensive enough to move your heart rate up so you still will be able to fall to sleep even better trust me now these exercises you can do every single day we will not be focusing on muscles we will be focusing on joints and range of motion in our joints so after this workout you're actually gonna feel very relaxed and maybe even ready for workout so just in case you feel that wave of energy uh, i will link some videos and some workouts that you can do right after so i hope i convinced you uh, go get yourself ready i'm gonna put quick intro and let's get going If you are new on my channel, please consider subscribing and share with your friends. Exercise that relieve joint stiffness and improve joint mobility. You can do them at home or anywhere else. We're gonna start from lower body and we're gonna move from toes to the top of our head. Go ahead, start with deep breathing. Inhale into the nose, reach up. And then as you exhale, just allow your arms fall down slowly. Remember, in this workout, we are not focusing on our muscles. It's going to be all about joints, breath, and range of motion. It's a very comforting workout. And we're going to begin with our feet. So let's point and flex our feet. We'll begin with pointing. You can choose to roll your toes down to your heels. Yes. Nice and slow. If you have difficulties doing this exercise without support, just grab a chair or support with one hand on the wall. Good. Next exercise, we're going to point and flex our toes just like that you'll be moving your toes up and down and then you're gonna circle your toes out and then in yes and go ahead switch like point and toes and as before circle your toes out work on a great range of motion and you're gonna reverse toes in that's another exercise where you can use chair or wall for support march out and go ahead circle your hips around start by placing your hands on your hip bones and then reach up see if you can maintain the same range of motion with your arms over the head and then open up your arms to the side. You want to now pay attention that the movement 
really comes from your hips and then reverse reach over you may notice that the range of motion is just a little bit smaller in this position don't worry about it and arms open very nice great now march up with knees going a little bit higher now and our feet move off the floor of the mat high knees march those simple moves will warm us up and our body will respond so much better to every other exercise. Make sure your form looks great. Move those shoulders back, lift up your chest. Good. Now we're gonna circle our knees in. Make sure you don't press too hard on your knee joints. Be very gentle here. We want just a little bit of movement. In and then out. Good, we keep those knees soft. And march. Well done. Next exercise, we're gonna do quick stretch. And that's another one where holding a wall or maybe a chair could be a great idea. Yes, it's hard to balance on one leg. Remember you start on slightly bent knees and then you curl your toe back and push your pelvic forward. If you have difficulties with this exercise, just so you know, you could do it laying down on the mat on your side or on your belly. We're gonna move on to the next exercise. Today I wanna show you all of the exercise in a standing positions, but I'm gonna link the video where you can do spine exercise on the mat. Well, now we're gonna shift body weight from side to side, bending to the right, to the left. Make sure you don't go too deep. Can you see there is about 90 degree point flex underneath? You can choose again, hold on to the chair or open up your arms to the side, just like that, or even put your palms together. And just a couple more. We want just a little bit of the movement and march. And now we're gonna focus on our hips and pelvic, knees slightly bent, very, very gentle squat. You'll be pushing your hips back and then forward. And again, tailbone back to invisible wall and then forward, back. And once you push your pelvic forward, I want you to engage those deep layered abs. See how that goes. If holding a chair or placing hands against the wall helps, please do it. Other than this, you can put your palms together like I'm showing. You wanna exhale, pushing pelvic forward, inhale as you come back. And you can choose any tempo that works for you. Keep going, front and back. Remember, those knees have to be slightly bent. On your exhale, push your pelvic forward. Good. Now we will go around with our hips. So we go forward, slightly to the side, back, and to the other side. And again, push forward, side, back, and to the other side. If you are just watching this workout today, it may seem that those moves are very, very easy, but once you are actually gonna try them, I promise you will be surprised how demanding they can be. Now let's go around the other way and see how that goes. It's very tricky to coordinate those moves. Do best you can and don't worry if you're gonna only have a little range of motion. All of that will change if only you repeat those exercises regularly. And march that out. Very good. Let's open up our legs now. 
And now we're gonna add a little bit of very loose rotation moves. Now, if you have issues with your spine or osteoporosis, please check with your doctor first if this and any other moves that I'm presenting is right for you. Notice that most of this rotation really comes from our knee, right? We are lifting here up to rotate. It's a very, very small spinal rotation here. It should not feel uncomfortable. It actually should feel like a good stretch. Now start reaching a little bit higher, all the way up. Yes, this is a good arms and shoulder stretch. Very nice. Now the second exercise, we're gonna also start with a little bit wider squat position, knees are slightly bent, and now we don't shift body weight from leg to leg. It's actually motion from waist up. Imagine someone is pulling you to the side and to the other side, some invisible power. Or maybe your friend is telling you, come here. No, come over there. Keep going. You wanna feel how your feet are sticking to the mat. You're actually not going anywhere. Well done. Inhale, reach over, stretch it out, and on your exhale, bring your arms down. Now you will be pressing your palms against your legs, and we will be focusing on our chest. It's gonna be chest part of our spine now that we're gonna work on. So knees are slightly bent, you press on your hands and you push your chest forward, then back chest forward, exhale, and then exhale, round up your back. You don't want to collapse your torso. Imagine there's a wall behind you. You are be pushing your shoulder blades back to the wall, and pressing on your legs actually helps to separate all those joints so we can enjoy better range of motion in the one that we wanna focus on. So we're gonna try that again, slightly bend those knees and find a good, comfortable tempo. It's a controlled motion. You don't wanna push it too fast. Are you breathing now? Inhale and exhale, chest forward and chest back. Now let's see if we can go around forward, to the side, back, and to the other side. It is gonna be exactly the same thing we did with our hips before. Try that again, to the side, back, side, and forward. And if you wanna go slower or even hold each position for about one to two seconds, that's fine. Uh, tempo will be your choice with this and really every single exercise that we are practicing today. Most of those exercises we can do absolutely anywhere, right? Roll those shoulders back, release any tension from around it, and this time we're gonna make this movement a little bigger. As you exhale, you're gonna add your arms and round your spine, then inhale, move those elbows back behind you. Very important that we incorporate our breathing here. On your exhale, round it up, slightly bend your knees, inhale, lift up your chest up and forward. Yes, now we are also adding motion to neck part of our spine. So range of motion gets bigger and bigger as we progress. As our muscles are warm up, they let us go a little farther. Beautiful, reach up. And now we're gonna bend from side to side. Our feet are down on a mat. This is easier option, just crossing arms on the chest. And there's another option, keeping arms down along with our body and just moving from side to side. Very, very small motion. Find the option that works for you. 
and enjoy it side to side. It's very important that you listen to your body and stick with what's comfortable for you. We all have some limitations and if we do, we have to respect them or be patient with ourselves as we are waiting for progress. Go ahead, march that out and then take another breath, reach over. This time we're gonna do full body stretch and that's easier option as you are supporting your hands on your lower back. And then we're gonna go halfway down, knees can be slightly bent. Then pressing down on your knees, round up your spine and roll it up. Let me show you the same thing from the side view. Full body stretch, level one or level two, which is a little easier. Look up and then support on your knee, maybe on the chair, maybe keep your hands against the wall. Turn your head side to side and then slightly bench your knees Round up your spine and roll yourself up. Shoulder rolls back and another breath in. Full body stretch. Look what's above you. Exhale, half down. Neck is extension of our spine. Go ahead, turn side to side. Drop your head down. And bend your knees. Round up your spine. Roll it up. We're well, gonna repeat this few more times. I want you to find your tempo. We don't have to do it all together. Just remember, air flows through your body. You are not holding your breath and you are making it comfortable for your joints. That's all we focus on today. This time we're gonna just focus on that second part. So as we go down, keep your back straight and then round it on your way up. Down slowly, you follow your chest and then you press on your knees, round it up and take a stretch to the side this time. Beautiful. Let's do it again. Follow your chest, keep those shoulders back and down, drop your head, let it be heavy. Take a stretch to the side. Support on your knees. Keep your back straight. Let your head to be heavy. And take a stretch to the side. Look what's above you. This feels so good that we're gonna do it again. Drop your head down. And take it to the side. Down round and up and take it to the side elbow up to the ear very very nice let's roll those shoulders back and then we're gonna go with the circle movement back this time arms are extended to the side but elbows can be slightly bent well the range of motion will be your choice again if you have some difficulties with this just decrease range of motion. You can go ahead and alternate. Notice how I'm moving my heel up and down. This, uh, this way I'm able to actually increase the range of motion. Round up your spine and then switch direction. We're gonna go forward. Let's alternate right and left right and left and again don't let your body to feel tense during this exercise okay those muscles are really disengaged it's all about them moving through those joints without engaging muscles too much good this time we'll be reaching up one arm down the other one imagine there's a wall behind you or maybe there is You'll be placing one palm to the wall below your hips and the other one as high up over the head as it's possible. Meanwhile, you wanna keep your elbow close to your ear. Next exercise, we'll be reaching over the head and then we're gonna place our palms together behind like this. So you put your palms together here and then 
down behind just the best you can. Stay nice and tall. And again, one arm up, one down, couple more times. Keep going, try, don't bend your arms, not too much though, okay? Remember, we are reaching higher and higher. Breath in, put your palms together, exhale. See if you can reach to your elbows now. Lift up your chin up, drop your head down. Good stretch. Inhale. On your exhale, see if you can put your palms together this way. This one is a little more advanced option. Then drop your head down and then look up. See what's above you. Let's do it again. Now you again have two options. I want you to go with the one that works for you today. Yes, adding a little bit stretch to that neck part of our spine. Of course, those muscles will follow, right? Drop your head down, let it be heavy, and then look up. Don't press too hard though, right? Just a gentle movement. Good, keep your arms behind you and see what's on your right, what's on your left, maybe even behind. Arms over, down, down. And again, see what's behind you. Try keep your chin up and parallel to the floor. It's only neck part of our spine in motion. Keep those shoulders back. Then open up your arms to the side and now take the line that your arms create to the right. Lift up your chest. Come back to the center and back to starting position. Rotation to the other side. Breath in, lift up your chest. And come back to starting position. We'll do it again. Reach up and take the line to the right. Shoulders back and away from ears. And switch side. Well done, just roll those shoulders back. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope it was a great workout for you. And if you are just watching today, I hope I convinced you to do it with me today, tomorrow, every day. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I hope I'll see you here soon. Bye now.